Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and praise the Lord. Welcome to Sea Live Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. I'm the pastor of the Kingdom of God Christian Center. Love, peace, and blessings to all of you. And thank you for all of you that join us on a regular basis. Shout out to my kingdom family. Shout out to my godson, Xavier, that make this podcast happen. To Team, to team Carmichael for making our streaming ministry happen. And just shout out to my precious wife and my beautiful daughters. Listen, I want to thank God for all of you that join us on a regular basis and for all of the wonderful, without exaggeration, for all of the wonderful comments that you guys give us in person and online. You know, a lot of my friends, beginning with my precious wife, has always encouraged me to do this. And I prolonged it and put it off and put it off. And I know now that I'm doing part of what God called me to do. So thank you and continue to share us and uh, subscribe because we plan to do this until Jesus say otherwise. Amen. Let's pray together, beloved, and we're going to get right into our Sila thought and moment. Father, we thank you again as we gather in your word. Thank you for blessing our time together. Thank you for saying something that your people need to hear. In Christ's name, amen. <clears throat> Last time we was with you, beloved, listen, last time we was with you, we shared with you that we believe that the seal I thought that God wants, wanted us to share with you is two words, try again. Now, I'm a Bible teacher in my church to tell you I have them to repeat after me. So I'm asking those of you to just say it, just say it, try again. Now, some of you that, uh, listen, that have joined us for the first time, believe it or not, you've already heard what God is wanting to say to you. Try again. I'm going to validate it with the scripture, but you tuned in just to hear God say to you, try again, try again, try again. The text that we get this from is when, when Peter and Jesus first met in Luke chapter number five, for the sake of time, for the brevity of time, we're going to only read verse three and five, but the, in, the entire text is Luke 5, 1 through 11. But for the sake of time, verse number three, we read, and he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. And when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we've toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, here's the statement, at thy word, I will let down the net. The same Jesus that told Simon Peter to try again is the same Jesus that's telling you, try again. You tuned in just to hear those two words, short but rich, try again. Now, the last time I was with you, beloved, as I told you, my church, you know, I like to use examples of people living, people that's passed on or what have you, because I believe you can learn from other people's lesson. I left off with you and, and I was giving you a list of people who were willing to try again after failure. I shared with you Michael J Jordan's story, but listen to this one about St uh, Steven Spielberg. You're familiar with him. Most of us have watched some of his movies. Here's, here's, here's the, the concept of trying again in Steven Spielberg's life. It, re it reads this. Steven Spielberg was rejected both times he applied to attend film school at the University of Southern California. He was rejected. See, that, that word, and I, I didn't already quote scripture, but see, even after you've been rejected, what's the, what's the kingdom life lesson? Try again. Even after rejection, try again. Come on, church. That's good stuff right there. Listen, Stephen Steelberg was rejected both times. He applied to attend film school at the University of California. That didn't stop him. Watch this. Spielberg has grossed $8.5 million, $8 billion for the films he's directed. <laughs> All because he was not afraid to try again. Watch this. And here's another thing about Steven Spielberg. And after he became famous, USC, the same school that rejected him, Watch this. After he became famous, USC, the same school that rejected him, awarded him an honorary degree and Spielberg, and Spielberg later became a trustee at the university. <laughs> All because Spielberg was willing to try again. Now listen, 
I don't know about you, and I don't know Steven Spielberg's belief system, so let me say that going in. But if Steven Spielberg can try again, and you and I have Jesus, you don't think that God wants us to try again even after we've been rejected? I told you, for some of you, even if you've been rejected in marriage and you're now divorced, try again. That's what I'm saying to you. Even if you tried to get into a certain school and they told you no, God is saying, try again. That's your word. Try again. Try again. Now notice, I like the last part of what happened with Spielberg because after USC rejected him from getting in school, they ended up awarding him with an honorary degree. Watch this. And made him a trustee in the university. What are, what are you saying, Pastor Moore? You'll be surprised that after you try again, same some of the same people that disapproved you will have to approve you. Are you willing to try again? This is Pastor Fred Moore. You see a lot and think about that. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.